Hello guys, Garcia here. This is part 14 of our Eye of the Beholder playthrough. So as you guys remember, we've been uh, exploring the green section of the dungeon here. Fighting a lot of like grasshoppers and stuff. So we have the second hive here. So I chose this door here to continue our exploration. We have two other doors in different sections that we haven't explored yet. Oh, what a surprise, huh? Well, actually, the fact that he didn't paralyze us in one hit is actually a surprise when you think about it. He has been paralyzing us consistently for a while. Not this dude here, but they. Oh, man. That was a very unfortunate hit, hit there. Well, so now we need to use our spell here. Let's, oh, sorry. Let's remove paralysis. Or not. Oh my god, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> I am not finding the distance today. He's going to get paralyzed instantly before I can even reach him for attack. Or an attack. There you go, lightning bolt works pretty well against them, uh, obviously. So what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to actually uh, rememorize my spells. I'm going to change one of the fireballs into a lightning bolt because we have been getting these guys basically in corridors constantly, which means we can hit several of them if we line up our spells correctly. And Lightning Bolt has been more effective, uh, effective than Fireballs so far. Just checking to see if anybody... Oh, I forgot I need to click this first. If anybody got some extra spells here. We haven't been getting levels uh, as much as we did in the, the Dwarven Halls. Has been pretty slow in that department. Uh, so we have the two Ice Storms. But I can only use them from a distance. So I'm just going to, you know what? Let's just get all lightning bolts and see what happens. <laughs> Hopefully this isn't a mistake. But we just created food, so we are fine. So we can rest here. Uh, there you go. So let's save. Always save. Pretty soon we are going to have to say goodbye to Anya. Uh, she's not gonna die, mind you. We are going to have to part ways because I'll need space in the party for the prince. And I'm not like throwing one of my clerics under the bus. Doesn't seem like a good idea. And I know she's stronger than my paladin by a lot. But as I said in the beginning of the, the playthrough, I am not going to uh, dismiss any of my main characters. Even if it's a bad idea to keep them, I don't care. We are going to keep everybody until the end. And if someone dies to the Beholder, so be it. You know? It's not an easy fight at all. I only killed the Beholder, I think, once. Uh, in a situation in which I didn't lose anybody. It's actually very hard. He obviously is a spellcaster, so he does like area damage and stuff. And his damage is pretty high. I'm trying to not use spells here, but every time Anya gets paralyzed is a problem because she's the main damage dealer. Another reason uh, that uh, we can actually replace her with the Prince is that the Prince is also very strong, meaning uh, his stat as strength is very high, that's what I was trying to say. So he is technically very strong, that makes him a, a nice replacement for her. And I think we have the choice of like taking the prince to the Batch of the Dwarves, and we can choose to keep him in the party until the end, until we fight the Beholder, or Shindia, which is the lady that... Scroll of, scroll of Neutral Poison, let's put it right here, which is the lady that 
was the leader of the attack of the the, the dark house, the trolls against the dwarves. So hopefully we can keep him because I don't want to like have to dismiss somebody and don't have anybody to put back in the place of the person. We have that set of paladin bones that we found, so we might be able to replace her with another paladin. But at that point, I don't see what good that, that would do to us or for us because we already have a paladin that's not that strong. So why would we have like two of the same type of character, right? That is not that great anyway. And there's also that mystery set of bones. We have a set of bones here that I don't know actually what's the character involved. Might actually be the, the, the Dwarven uh, Prince, now that I think about it. Oh, there's a button here. You guys can see? Man, this is so... Look, you can't see it from the side, like the other buttons, you know? But I'm seeing here. Look, <laughs> it's just so... Uh, Alright, so I explored everything here. So I think we should be fine. Whoa, this place is huge. We have another scroll. Cone of cold. Hmm. Now that is interesting. You guys remember I've been talking about the cold spell since the beginning of the game? And then we got Ice Storm. I thought we actually uh, we are, were going to get Cone of Cold, not Ice Storm. Turns out there's both of them. So let's scribe some scrolls. Alright, now I have no idea which one is better than the other. Well, now I know. <laughs> it's actually from the fifth uh, circle, which obviously means it's the stronger spell, but also means we can't cast it yet. When it comes time to face the Beholder, we might actually have one kind of code available to us, maybe. We need to level up a little bit before. Maybe one level is enough. Actually, let's check the level of Picaro here real quick. She's level 8, I would say level 10, right? Would be the 5th uh, circle level. Maybe 9, but I would probably think it's 10. So we need 2 levels, but that's going to be very hard to get. Because we haven't been leveling at all lately. I'm going to close this wall off, I don't need to leave this open. Especially if... Oh, oh he didn't see us. Interesting. So let's just... Go in from behind. There you go. Very honorable. This side also has nothing and doesn't have a button. So let's keep exploring this hive here. Interesting. So this place is pro pretty much already done. Remember that we pushed the lever until the present moment. Uh, so far, I have no idea what that lever does. So, if you guys remember, there's that set of stairs that takes us back to the draw levels, but there's nothing there. And we went there with the lever uh, up and down. So activated and non-activated. Oh, I see. So I've been pondering about the respawns. I think this was a respawn. It has to be. Why did the guy move to the other side? That doesn't make any sense. To just turn around, you know. So yeah, so far, so this side is done. This hive is done too, apparently, as far as I can tell. So keep that closed. No needs, uh, no need for surprises from the back, right? So this is the path that takes us to the. Now that I know that the buttons are very difficult to spot. 
this make these corridors here very problematic because there could be a button anywhere and you can't see it, you know? But at the same time, if I'm going to like go wall by wall, that would take forever. So that probably would not be a good idea. So I'll have to just hope <laughs> that there's no button in this section here. So let's check for the last time the set of stairs here and if nothing changed, we'll just proceed through the other entrances. So yeah, as you guys can see, we are still uh, stuck in this section here. We need to do something to proceed, probably. As far as I remember, there was no item here, by the way. Usually these places have items, like a, a scroll or something. I don't remember uh, getting any item from this part here. So, so far, this hasn't been that helpful. But alright, let's keep going. Wait. <laughs> Just got something uh, in passing. Alright, so this second hive here was pointless so far. There's the lever. I'm not touching it again. Actually, you know what? Let's, oh, let's press this. Oh! Oh, there you go. So it opens behind me. So it opens right here. All right, we have a set of levers. So before we do this, this is one of the hives, right? Yes. I don't think that guy is going to attack us unless we fight him. So I'm going to leave him be for a while. So let's save here. I am not that good with the, these uh, lever combinations, but let's <laughs> try it out. The one thing I haven't done before was to do the lever, not the lever, the button combination on the draw levels, I don't know if you guys remember. So if push comes to serve and we need to really get something from that room we are going to try again so up up i heard a noise oh i'm locked interesting oh we ported huh that's very cool actually jump we have another magic ring which we can't use <laughs> we are sitting on so many magical items here uh, wands especially we have like seven eight wands and i haven't used any yet and jump another jump <laughs> giant strength going to be good against the beholder um what can I drop here? Let's see one scroll that's not so good. Like neutral poison, cure serious, another neutral poison, dispel magic, pure critical. All of these are good. Visibility 10, and a shield. There you go. Yes. So you can stay right there. It's telling us to jump. Obviously, <laughs> that's obviously not a good idea. But we have the benefit of the save here. We can kind of look into the future, so let's take a look at what's awaiting us down here. Probably death. Let's check it out. So we did jump. What's this? Leave no stone unturned. Hmm. Oh, this is a puzzle. This is the Celestial Star for of Navigation. Yeah, I remember this puzzle. I remember the puzzle. I don't remember how to solve the puzzle. But yeah, so this is a puzzle section. So we are definitely not doing this 
yet, but we might have to eventually. As long as there's like still paths for us to walk through here, we are going to use them. Alright, so uh, I saved this after getting the items, right? Yes. So let's just mess with some levers here. Locked again. So we're back. So there you go. So that gives us an opportunity in case we are stuck. We can go back here and jump to the next level. Uh, just like we did in the last draw level, we had to actually jump first before we found the stairs, right? So that might be the way here. And this is the the hive and the path to the the draw section. So we can keep this locked too. As I said before, we are going to lock everybody, everything <laughs> behind us. No need to leave it open, especially when they can like respawn just like that. Uh, can I use? There you go. So lightning bolt is still doing a lot of work here. We are the explore this section here, this part of the hive. We just need to find a door. There you go. We already explored everything here, so I can just leave. So in case anything happens, this is the hive we are we need to come back to. This is the place we entered. This is the first door door we saw outside of this one that we had to drop the weapons. And then we just went right. We explore the two hives. The hive on the right is the one that has the, the hole. Then we have this door here too. So I'm, I'm actually going to open this door here too and leave the first door for later. Hopefully don't ha meet any of the illitids here yet or before I am ready to fight them. Now, how would I know that I'm ready to fight them? That's an interesting question. I haven't thought about that yet. So I think the ideal scenario would be I can find the Orb of Knowledge or whatever the name of the item is. Then we can go back using a teleporter and I can identify all the items and have my best equipment uh, available. And everybody should be up to speed in terms of magical equipment before I fight the first one. Because they are very strong. They really are. And let the guy move in. Oh, actually this is Ice Storm. I need to use Lightning Bolt. There you go. Lightning is working very well against these guys. A halberd. I'm guessing this is a two-handed weapon, right? Yeah. I don't know if this is good or not, so we'll be keeping it here for now. Another door, and again we have to check both for buttons, and the button is very <laughs> small. This is going to be very difficult to find. Wow. That's a big ass hall. Very big. So at least it's empty, it seems. So this is in case of fire. In case of flood. Hmm. And the door with a keyhole. I have a key, one skull key. We got in one of the hives, I think. But I'm not opening it yet. Hmm. So let me see where the key is first and foremost. Uh, he's paralyzed, unfortunately. Mm, here. So I'm actually going to keep the key in here. So let's rest a little bit. Always resting. There you go. 
Okay. So now we have in case of flood and in case of fire. So both of these are probably traps, right? I imagine. Actually, let's save too. I wish the saving process was a little bit faster, but hey. The, the simple fact that this was a possibility back in the day is already very impressive. Uh, so I'm going to have to press this. There you go. <laughs> but if we press both, we might be able to open a path or something. There you go. So we probably took like a ice storm and a fireball to the face here for some reason. This might be just troll uh, traps for you to just click uh, and just take one to the dome, you know? The possibility too. So, buttons pressed, we just took the damage. For no reason, apparently. Just to check uh, our vitality here. So we were able to handle all the damage. That's a lot of hours rested. And remember that we actually have two clerics. So that's a, a lot. Let's see how the food situation is now. Actually, it's way better than I thought it would be. So we are we're fine. Alright, so now we have uh, the door with the keyhole here. Let's check if we can lockpick. I really doubt. Yeah, we are so deep in the dungeon, I don't think anything will be lockpickable now. So let's go. Before I use this key here, let's see if we have another place in which we need a key. To use or open. Oh, this is the place in which we can fall from the draw levels. We fell here as a test before. Hikaru got a level, so we should have opened this door first, right? There's probably nothing here. Just an extra halberd here. So if she got a level, maybe she can start using the level 5 spells, but remember we were just discussing about level 9 or 10, so let's see. Maybe she can, maybe she can't, she will not be able to, yeah. Oh, she actually can, that's pretty good. The amount of spells per level is not great, but the fact that she can already use Cone of Cold is it's really, really good. Let's just check to see if there's a button somewhere. I don't know how good the spell actually is when compared to the, the other ones. Only in action we are going to see it. The grasshoppers are not a good way to test it because you, you just, just fight one. Uh, the reason I'm using the lightning bolts is because not only is effective against them, but because I can trespass, right? So I can hit folks uh, behind the, the initial creature. But Cone of Cold might be able to get like an entire corridor or two. We have to just test it. Luckily, we can rest forever because of the great food spell. So again. The question becomes, how the hell would you beat this game without a cleric? I don't know. So basically we explored everything kind of correctly and we ended up with the only place that we needed to use the key for. For opening it. Alright, so now what we have, we have welcome. Oh, isn't that nice. That is basically a code word for please save. <laughs> Welcome. That after a room that made us take a fireball and an ice storm to the face. 
Ooh, Shindia. Suddenly realizing the odds, uh, begs for her life. Wait, please, don't hurt me. Look, I know a lot, and I can give you important information. I can tell you how to save the king. That's worth something, isn't it? I'm no good to you if I can't talk. Let's hear her out first. It's saved anyway. So anxious to stay alive, Shindia blurts her story. It's obvious you know of Xenatar's plot. Yes, we do. He kidnapped Prince Ker Kurgar to turn the Drow and the Dwarves against each other. Because we knew the king was too stubborn to brainwash, I poisoned him. <laughs> the only way to revive him from his coma is with the potion that I stashed on the level below in the room of the levers. Oh, the room of the levers. We have been on that room before and I actually got a potion from there. I think. Before you can get any more information from Shindia, the party is distracted by a series of dancing lights far down the corridor. When the party turns back, she is gone. So we have been here before. So maybe we haven't got the, po the potion yet, actually. Okay, so I think the correct course of action here is actually killing her. Or I don't know actually. Let's try to kill her first because I think she's going to be very difficult to kill. Then we'll see. We can actually test our cone of coal here too. Alright, so uh, get her. There you go. Oh. I had square breast. Oh, Jesus, you already died. Yeah, I don't think this is going to help us, maybe. So you know what? I'm going to actually let her go uh, for now. I'm going to get the info and let her go. I thought maybe she had one of the stone items, but apparently not. All right, so hear her out. All right, so she obviously poisoned the king, so she's not a good uh, actor in this situation here. But Xenatar is also the main guy behind everything. <laughs> guy, beholder. So we already did this before. I don't know how, but we were able to pull out the combination here. Just by trial and error. So I don't know what is the, the correct decision. I don't remember what you are supposed to pick here. And remember, we just we dropped this rock, so we got the stuff that was in here before. So yeah, this place is basically done. It was done before. So as you can see, the only way to trigger the dialogue with Shindia is actually coming through here, right? Not uh, via the teleporter. This is the bad one, the one that can lead us to that part, part on the the draw section that we can't go back using the teleporter. And this is the one that probably leads us to the dwarves or something. Let me see. Yeah. The ring, I imagine, or maybe into the that huge teleporter hall. One of the two. So we have one door here, and we have one door here. And after this, we basically will have to jump into that hole if we don't find a way down through these doors. So I hope these are useful for us. Hey, hey sir. Oh, he didn't see his was yet. Yeah. So let's test Cone of Coal. There you go. Well, it did hit him, but it didn't do a whole lot. Obviously. What? What happened? Did you guys see that? Look. Oh, it bounced. There's like an invisible wall here. What's 
happen? Is he going to stay there? Where's the other one? I, I saw the other one. I was like, where is it? So no ice storm, lightning bolt. Come on. There you go. So another halberd. Yeah, this is the last one I'm getting. I don't care about this item anymore. I said before, but I think the biggest fail and, and that this game has for me personally what? is not having like a, a store or something down here. Not having gold. That's basically the, the thing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Click the wrong object. I'm going to throw the ladder at him. But back to what I was saying, I really, uh, I always thought that if they remade this game, they needed to put like a section, like a floor in which there are a bunch of rejects from the city above leaving. A place where you can sell your stuff, you know, empty your inventory actually have the choice of buying some stuff this is actually kind of controversial uh, in a way because one of the strengths of the game is that you are basically stuck down here right uh, without help without anything just with the stuff you had in your pockets that's why you don't start with a lot of rations is that you your, char your characters weren't expecting to be a lot deep in some sort of dungeon, right? They are forced to stay here because of Xenatar. So having gold in a shop and stuff would change the dynamic for sure. But that would make the game technically better. And I'm always on the side of making games uh, technically better. So better systems, you know. Uh, more fun systems, more pro player systems, you know. In my opinion, it's always better. You always go for the better game instead of the better story. If it's a video game we're talking about, right? Even if the story or the logic suffers a little bit, having certain things in the game can make it way better for everybody. Alright, so we have just a bunch of items to collect here. Oh, this is clearly a passage. Can you guys see? It's not easy to spot, as you guys can see. At all. But the moment you take a look and you see the different color, because the regular one is kind of like this. And the, this one... Uh, where was it? Here. You can see that is different, you know? But this is the type of level that you have to be very slow and, uh, you know, uh, pragmatical when looking for stuff. Oh, Flame Blade, you can stay right there. Nothing here. Another wand. <laughs> we have such a huge collection of wands. I'm actually going to drop the halberd here. I don't have a reason to walk around with these. I just like looting stuff. And we have a potion of poison. So we have a lot of potions of poison now. And one of them, probably, I'm going to drop this shield here. Probably is the one that we need for the king or prince. But she said floor below, right? So even though we went through the whole lever thing, that is probably not the room she was referring to. The room of levers is probably the room that is connected to the that puzzle we saw when we jump into the hole, right? Uh, we jumped to the hole. So let's create food again. And hopefully, oh, wrong side. So we need to find another thing to press here, I imagine. Oh, I wish I saved. You see Prince Kurgar, uh, Kurgar, Jesus, is struggling against his bonds. He looks up at you with desperate hope. Please, you must free me. 
I need to return to my clan and avert the war between the uh, dwarves and drone. Yes, let's free him. He sighs in relief, I thank thee for the timely rescue. Yeah, he does speak like royalty. Now I must hurry to my people to warn them of the two foul traps. So there are two. First, the Droll community was not behind my kidnapping. Uh, luckily, we, we didn't fight them, as you guys remember. It was Xanatar's minion, Shindia. Yes, I know. If my people mistakenly attack the Droll in their search for me, the Droll will annihilate them with uh, superior numbers. Second, if my people continue their search for our ancestral home, they will run directly into Xanathar himself. I gather from Shindia, uh, Shindia's comments that Xanathar has set up his main quarters right in the heart of our ancient city. Yes, I know that. Uh, actually, <laughs> in this playthrough I didn't know that. So I must find my people and stop them from attacking the Drow or assaulting Xanathar. Will you accompany me, brave adventurers? Yes, but that's the problem, right? I need to drop someone, I will have to draw you. I have to drop, <laughs> draw, I have to drop Anya, unfortunately. <sighs> Sorry Anya, I did not want to do that, but who oh, is in bad, bad shape. He's with uh, 3 HP, so he originally has 45, he's pretty weak. But this is a thing, as you guys can see, this is the, the big selling point here. So he's going to level up slightly faster, hopefully. So we'll see if there's a, a button here later. Let me get all my items first. I don't like leaving my items on the floor like this. So I just created food too, that's terrible. I wasn't expecting finding, uh, to find him like here. But if you guys remember, when we first came down here, I was pondering if we could find the prince. Turns out we could have if we, we actually explored the doors, right? We could have found him like earlier. But it wouldn't matter because we already had Anya for a long time and before then. So it wouldn't change anything, really. His main problem obviously is going to be uh, staying alive because 45 HP right now is rough. If you guys remember, Anya was being hit constantly. She really took a beating in this spot. So, man, she had a lot of stuff. <laughs> Bunch of wands. I could uh, been using. Uh, could have been using this wand if I wanted to like just test them, you know and use them But so far we haven't really needed to I don't think he can to handle Yeah, <laughs> that would be too much right I don't know if the mace does more damage than this Severus sword here Maybe Severus does more damage. I don't know You can actually test it just for science, you know Let's try So she was completely full, so there you go, we got everything back. Uh, there you go, sir. Let's actually give him a ration, one of our uh, big ones. We have a few of them left, there you go. So I don't need to create food right now. There you go, so he should be fine. So Kurgar, it's kind of a difficult name to pronounce for me. So let's check for buttons, because there was a button on the other side. So I don't know if the button actually opened one of these corners here, or if the button opened something somewhere else. But in this floor we already have the, the freaking lever that I don't know what to do with. So, But first thing, we need to go back to the dwarves as quickly as possible before I proceed to let them know that the prince is okay. Uh, he's basically in a corner just like the, the priest that res resurrects people on the dwarven uh, halls. And like the mage that we fought, if you guys remember. The one that we should have, have gotten but I didn't, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't get. 
by my own mistake. All right, so let's try to find where the dwarves are here. So let's save. I don't like dropping characters, as I said. I wish there was a way to walk around with him without him being like an actual member of the party, you know? Just like in Daggerfall, you like find a missing villager, so he's with you, but he's not like in a party with you. He's just around, you know, and you just deliver him, just like an item, you know? But no such luck, so let's go. So I don't know if it was correct to kill Shindia, because she is involved, obviously. But we might not be able to save the king without her help. Alright, we can go back from here. It's just going to take a little while. This is probably faster than just like winging it and finding which one is the correct one in the teleporter hall. I'm going to just use this one. Oh, look who it is. Our good old friends. They are so nice. Re reception party. There you go. Oh my god, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I completely forgot. He can't fight right now. That's a terrible idea. Oh my god. <laughs> See, that's why this is going to be slightly complicated. Because the one guy we can't have dying here is the one guy that can die here. Uh, now we have to remember. Uh, maybe it was here. Um, oh my god, another one. They will always hit him. It's amazing. Let's try one of those. On. So it, it isn't that good, apparently. It might be good against like a specific enemy. Let's actually rest. This is not going well. Oh my god. Alright, now this is starting to become a problem. This is an ordeal now. Alright, so let's try to rest like here. Let me heal him first. Before anything. And he actually has good equipment. He, his armor class is actually pretty low. But yeah, the uh, the value, the amount is really not... Oh man. So he found us. Well, at least he didn't hit the prince this time. So I'll take it. So these corridors are still annoying. What a shocker. The nest is still doing the work here. All right, now we should be fine, hopefully. All right, so I'm going to. Oh my God! It wasn't that one. It is this one. Oh, the princess putting in the work. It's starting to. Oh, sure. There you go, another one. Oh, I misclicked. I wasn't going to do that. I actually need the prince to level up, so it might not be a terrible idea to walk around here and kill a bunch of stuff. But we need to find the dwarves. Then we have to port back to the teleporter hall. And then, from there, we have to return to the green dungeons. I wish I knew the name. I know they are not called <laughs> the green dungeons. Dark Brack. Yeah, we are looping here, clearly. So yeah, I don't think I actually remember the way up. So I'm going to just walk around and hope for the best. Oh my god. There he is. There they are, actually. 
So yeah, the whole community is here. There you go. Oh, it didn't work. Huh. Interesting. I don't know if that was a positioning problem. Maybe? Oh. So yeah, this has been slightly more annoying than I was hoping for. Let's see if he's getting some XP actually. He is. A lot, actually. That's pretty good. That said, I think we should just go to the teleporter and just try our luck in the teleporter room. Might as well. I don't see the point of walking aimlessly here. So we need to find the teleporter. This is one in one of these walls here. Yeah, in this one. There you go. Uh, Illyria has the items. So let's go back. Thing is, I don't remember if when we teleport using the scepter, if we are going to end up in that particular row level, the one that we got stuck in, or we are going to end up in the hall, the teleporter hall. So I'm going to save here, just to not waste time. His constitution is actually pretty high too, meaning the prince. Which means that when he gains a level, he might get more than 10 HP. With like 60 would be already good, I would say. There you go. If this game was remade just like a Bard's Tale was remade a few years ago, and it was great, by the way, we might play on the channel, a Bard's Tale. Uh, I don't remember if it's, a, it's called like a remaster or something. So yes, what I thought was going to happen actually happened. So it's actually way harder, in my opinion, to find our way from here to the teleporter hall, even the teleport hall being like in the same level or some or closer than the other teleporter. But it's way harder to find our way than it is to go from here. So there you go. So I'm going to have to try to remember. As I said many times, I don't like really memorize all that stuff. I just know most of the places. And I know that if I walk around long enough, I will I will find the places. That's basically the way I think. But obviously, that's not the best way to. <laughs> I'm sure this is not the side to do anything, right? Oh, wait. Yeah, here. Got lost for a second. Yeah, it has to be this side, actually. This is where we got a bunch of our Kenku eggs. Yeah, so... We are probably going to beat a lot of those creatures again. There you go. I don't think it's avoidable here. Where? Well, they didn't came for some reason. Well, alright. So fuck them. <laughs> oh, damn it. Right in the spot we need to go. Well, there is the lightning bolt. It's not good against them. Which is bad that we just... <laughs> does not like... Uh, every time... Oh, I literally actually want to level. Every time we like... Memorize a spell. It's the incorrect spell, you know. So lightning bolt is better there. Oh, there you go. Found it. Uh, finally. There you go. Oh, from here is pretty easy. We are basically already here. We just need to... 
There it is. So it turns out it wasn't that hard. Here. Yes, this is the correct place. So the doors are on these side right here. So there it is. So before I do that, let's just see what spells she got. She doesn't get a whole lot of extra spells because she doesn't have a whole lot of the particular attribute she needs. So you're serious? She has like 10 or 9 or something like that. Yeah, she has 9 wisdom, which is really bad for a cleric. As bad as it can possibly be. So let's save before we see what are the choices that we are going to be presented with here. Hopefully he can stay in the party because I just lost Anya. The dwarves rejoice at the returning uh, at the return of their prince. Warriors and the clerics surround the prince. Armin, which is the guy we chose not to keep in the party, turns to you. Beyond hope, we have returned. Uh, you have returned with Prince Kurgar. How can we possibly thank you? They wish information on the on way to the surface. Uh, so the prince is telling them that they need. Uh, we need information. So lore has it. There is an ancient throne room about seven levels uh, down. So level twelve in the throne room. There is a sec secret door in the north wall. The door opens to a long underground passageway, which should take you to the lands just east of Waterdeep. Uh, there must be some other way I can repay you for bringing me back to my people. The least I can do is continue to help you in your quest against Xanthar. There you go, so he's staying in the party, I mean. So there it is. So now we know how we are supposed to leave. So, now that we are here, we are actually going to end the episode here, and we are going to start already back in the, the green levels. I'm going to port back there. But, what we are actually going to do now is to test a few resurrections here, to see what characters can we get. Because since the prince is already here, I think from this point on, he is actually replaceable, in a way. Uh... Not that I have like a better character to put in his place, but I don't think he's vital to the story anymore. So let's see what the cleric has to say here. Resurrect. So these are our guys that we can resurrect here. So Laszlo, we know it's the rogue. So Tira, let's see who she is. Oh, this is just great. I got destroyed following the same uh, full party uh, down here. <laughs> Uh, and now another party came, comes by, resurrects me, and wants me to join up. Uh, what makes you think I wanted to be here in the first place? Yes. Surely I could probably help you. After all, pretty good ranger. Uh, Alright. So let's just replace the prince. Just to see if it works. It does. So this is Tira. She's a ranger. So she has 18 dexterity, so she obviously should be a good uh, archer. Interesting. I don't remember this character. I'm talking like I do, but I don't. Let's see who's the other one. Uh, Boric, Boric, one of the two, is the paladin, right? So let's see if he's pretty good or not. So let's resurrect uh, Boric. Uh, there you go. Resurrected, uh, resurrected. Then my mission has failed. I am Boric of the City Watch. When the rumors of Xanatar uh, first arose, I went down alone to investigate. I see uh, that they were more than rumors. Will you allow me to join you and finish my quest against the evil which plagues Waterdeep? Sure. There you go. Replacing the prince again. Oh, he looks cool as hell, man. So, Warwick. So, 17 strength, 9 uh, intelligence, <laughs> 18 constitution, 17 charisma. I think he actually is better than mine. By a little bit. 
but my dude has like double his experience basically so yeah these are the options that we actually have we obviously are not going with any of them we are going with the prince hopefully he can oh, he can level up right but we are going to continue on the next lap uh, next episode we are going to continue like right down to uh, right at the green level and we probably are going to be jumping into that hole and doing that whole celestial navigation uh, puzzle to continue and we need to find a potion to save the dwarven king so that's it guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode